G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've ever considered setting up a gym at home, you need to watch today's video. What I'm gonna give you today is some information on the foundation pieces I think that uh, a home gym needs in order to work properly and give you some results. Now not everyone has a gym close by to their home or to their work that's suitable for them. Uh, maybe you're a little bit intimidated to go to a, a big gym, a big 24 hour type gym, or maybe you just want something that's really close and convenient for you so that you can work out when you want without having to travel. If that's the case, you probably want to set up a gym at home. Now all you really need is a space. Think about maybe a spare bedroom, uh, part of the garage, which is where I am at the moment. Um, you might have a space under a carport or something like that. Just doesn't need to be too fancy. Somewhere where you can put some equipment that's not going to get in the way of anything else that you do around the home. Just a little bit of information about the shirt that I'm wearing today. This is Walkie Talkies for Men's Health Awareness. Uh, it's, a, it's a group, a Facebook group that was set up in Sydney for, for men to join up, have a chat about any struggles that they're facing. Um, we go for a walk once a week every Sunday just to get together and have a chat. Uh, very casual, very low key but it's a great initiative for men in Sydney to really just deal with mental health problems. I'll put a link in the description. I'll also put a link on the screen right now. Uh, yeah, walkie talkies. Okay, let's get started building our home gym. The first thing we need is some flooring. I'd suggest about six square meters as a minimum, but if you're going to dedicate a large space or a whole room to your home gym, take your measurements first to figure out how much you're going to need. There are a number of options for gym flooring, but my only recommendation here would be to get a commercial quality 15 millimeter thick, one meter by one meter rubber gym tile. They do a great job of suppressing noise and preventing any damage to the floor underneath. At only about 30 to $35 each, they're not a very big investment for something that's going to cop a lot of abuse. Next, you're going to need some sort of rack. Now, there are three options I'm gonna give you today. Each has their pros and cons, but uh, I'll give you a recommendation at the end for the one that I think is the most suitable for most people. The first option would be some squat stands. Now these are relatively cheap. You can pick them up for about $200 for the pair. They're easy to move around. You'll be set up in no time and you can move them out of the way when they're not in use. The only real downside to squat stands is that they're not as sturdy as the other options I'm going to show you today. Next option would be a power rack or a squat rack. Now these are quite expensive. This one that you see here is about $1,500, but you get what you pay for. So this is a very sturdy unit. It's big, it's strong, and it's going to be a lot more durable than the squat stands. You can also get some handy add-ons like the pegs for the plate storage so you don't have to worry about storage of your weight plates. And the third and final option, which is the one that I really like, and I think uh, I would recommend this option, is a wall-mounted folding rig. As the name suggests, these uh, mount to your wall, so there is uh, some, some setup required. You're gonna have to have these mounted properly, but the great thing is that they fold out of the way when not in use. In terms of uh, durability and strength, they're somewhere between the squat stands and the power rack, and you can pick up one of these from about $400. The next thing we're going to need for our home gym is a barbell. Now barbells come in all different shapes and sizes, but the one you typically see in your gym is called an Olympic barbell. They're 20 kilograms in weight, and you can pick one of them up for about $200. We'll need some weight plates to go on our bar. These can be purchased individually or as a package. My recommendation is to start with pairs of 1.25, 2.5, 5, 10 and 15 kilo plates. Then you can add 20 kilo and 25 kilo as needed. Don't forget you'll need a pair of collars to hold the weights on the barbell. A quality pair like these on the screen now will set you back about $40. The last piece we need is a bench. I suggest choosing an adjustable bench to allow some incline and decline variations of the bench press and the dumbbell fly, as well as providing back support for seated shoulder presses. A good adjustable bench will start at about $350. It is possible to save a considerable amount by buying used equipment from Gumtree, Facebook Marketplace or eBay. Just make sure that what you buy has been well maintained. With this setup, you've now got the ability to do the three big lifts being the squat, the deadlift and the bench press, as well as a heap of other accessory lifts. 
In a couple of future videos, I'm going to show you a few things that you might want to add to your gym at a later date, but today is really just about getting started. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked my video, please leave me a like. Don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications on so you can see my future content. It would really help me out if you did that. So thanks everyone again. See you next time.